President Draupadi Murmu inaugurated India's first CAR T cell therapy for cancer treatment at IIT Bombay. Emphasizing its affordability and accessibility, she held it as a breakthrough in the fight against cancer. The collaboration between academia, industry and healthcare showcased India's prowess in medical innovation and the spirit of MEC in India. Bhupen Kumar Bora, the president of the Assam Pradesh Congress Committee APCC, has lodged a defamation lawsuit of Rs. 10 crore against Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma over his alleged claim that Bora will be joining BJP party by 2025. The lawsuit comes in the wake of several remarks made by the Chief Minister against Bora that are deemed objectionable and potentially damaging to his reputation and the party's standing. Bora has refuted claims of leaving the Congress party to join the BJP party. The case has been officially registered in the court. The Delhi Mete Coordinating Committee DMCC, comprising various Mete organizations has spent letters to both the Election Commission and the Chief Justice of India, urging them to postpone the Lok Sabha elections in Manipur due to the ongoing ethnic turmoil in the region. Scheduled for April 19 and 26, the elections for the two parliamentary seats in Manipur, Inner Manipur and Outer Manipur have raised concerns particularly regarding security in the latter constituency, where polling will occur on both days. In the petition submitted on April 1, the DMCC cited multiple reasons for the proposed delay, including the escalation of conflict and law enforcement of challenges backed by media reports documenting the unrest. Ashish Kumar Saha, the Congress and INDIA bloc candidate, has written a letter to Puneet Agarwal, Chief Electoral Officer of Tripura, urging for stringent action against purported BJP-backed perpetrators for allegedly vandalizing and wrecking a Congress publicity vehicle on April 2. In his letter, Saha alleges a grave breach of the Model Code of Conduct MCC, orchestrated by individuals affiliated with the Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP). A high alert has been sounded across Kasi and Jainta Hills in Meghalaya in view of the volatile situation arising out of the recent killing of two persons, officials said. Last week, the two persons were found dead in the Ichamati area near the India-Bangladesh international boundary in East Kasi Hills district after the Kasi Students' Union KSU staged an anti-CAA protest in the border town. On Tuesday, two KSU members were picked up from their homes in Sohara town and later arrested for their alleged involvement in the murders, SP Rituraj Ravi said. A New York judge rejected ex-US President Donald Trump's plea to delay his hush money case trial. Trump had claimed presidential immunity to defer hearings, which will now begin this month. The case centers on allegations that Trump and his associates arranged $130,000 for payments to adult star Stormy Daniels for silence about her affair with Trump in 2006. Elangbam Pantoy Channu for Manipur scripted history as the first Indian to play for the Australian Football League, making significant strides in the sports landscape. Channu signed with the Metro United WFC for the South Australian Women's National Premier League which kick-started on March 28. She will also train at the A-League club at the United FC set Paul Maurice. <laughs>